Hey everyone, Mackenzie Therese here and welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be using an 11 by 14 inch canvas. The colors I am using is the 24 karat gold extreme sheen by Deco Art. All of these colors are by Deco Art. Um, the sweet mint, which is the blue, and then there's a lavender, um, the true red, and then of course the background as you can see is white. And I mixed all of those um, with Floetrol and water. Um, I'm really excited about this piece because I'm using something a little different, which is the dragonfly, as you just saw. Um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with the dragonfly. I knew I wanted it to be part of the piece. So um, I just started adding the colors and I figured as I went along, I would figure out exactly what I wanted it to to do if I wanted to dip it in the colors, if I wanted to leave it on the piece. Um, I wasn't really sure, but I knew I would figure it out as time went on. Um, so I knew that I wanted the colors to really work together to make the exact piece I wanted. I had a piece in mind of exactly what I wanted. Um, I knew I wanted lacing and some cells and different things like that. So I really, really knew what I wanted out of this piece. It was from my sister and I know what she likes. So I wanted it to be absolutely perfect. And I think I really achieved it. So now I'm doing the blow drying. Um, I just push it with the blow dryer and make it move. Um, and as you can see, it just was not working well. I got really, really frustrated and I was like, oh, this piece is not turning out at all like I had planned. I was mad, um, but I kept blowing drying it just to see if maybe it would um, turn out a little bit different. There were a few parts in this piece that I liked, but not at all what I wanted, you know, in the long run. So then I took the torch and I was like, oh, maybe we can get some cell action in here and it'll be okay. And I, I um, ran the torch over the whole thing and still it did not happen. So I scraped it. Um, I knew exactly what I wanted out of the piece and I knew I was gonna get it if I tried hard enough. So I went ahead and re the colors hoping that it would turn out exactly like I wanted it. Um, I knew I wanted the colors and I had even thought about putting the orange in instead of a red, but then I thought that the gold would kind of give off the orange vibe. So I went ahead and went with the red. That's one of the reasons I used red. She loves orange a lot more than she likes red, but I figured that this the way that it would come out, it would be just the perfect amount of all the colors. So then I torched it and I prayed and I hoped it would come out exactly like it did. And let's just say I tried my best. Um, so um, as you can see, I'm torturing, torching it just to make sure that I got all the bubbles out because that can be a problem. Um, the bubbles, can pop through and um, that's when you get the thing called measles which um, the white goes through in the colors and then you lose some of your color and the measles kind of take over your painting which is not something you want um, so I started blowing it out and this piece up top I really really loved I love the cells the lacing absolutely everything and then the piece that I just blew, blow dried out, um, so much of the white took over. Um, I felt like I lost a lot of the color, which I was not happy about. And then on the other side, it seemed like the red just took over. So it just wasn't a happy medium and I messed with it for a little bit longer. But as you probably can tell by my voice, I ended up scraping it again, but I uh, did torch. I tried to mess with it, you know, my normal thing that I do, but I knew exactly what I wanted out of this painting and I knew I could get it. So I was gonna try my absolute best to get it. Um, 
and I hope the you artists understand, you know, I know you guys do, because whenever you have something pictured in your head and you try to do it, it doesn't always come out the way you want it to, and it can be so frustrating at times. Um, so that is where I was at with this piece. I knew exactly what I wanted, and it just wasn't working. But I loved the top of it, so I left that, and I scraped the sides. And um, I think it was the best thing I ever did was leaving that top part and scraping the sides and redoing it. Because as you can tell in the middle piece, I didn't scrape that part off, you know, the bottom part of that middle piece. I left it because I liked the lacing and I liked um, the colors of everything that was there. So I knew that I could get those colors if I tried. Um, so as you can tell, I am redoing the paint on just the side pieces um, that I have scraped off. Um, I have layered them exactly like I did um, so that I would come out with the same results. Um, and I loved, loved the way this, this part turned out. Um, the colors were perfect. The lacing was perfect. The cells were perfect. It was almost too perfect. Um, the only part that I was kind of, uh, not sure about was the far side, um, you can see that there is a little bit of white or a lot of white um, and it just seemed like the colors didn't really come down with it so that was kind of frustrating and there was a few pieces that I had to fix you know where the paint had splattered or from scraping it it had kind of gotten color throughout the white when I didn't want that so there were a few things that I had to fix but nothing you know that was too much or had messed up the whole piece or, you know, just little things that you have to do when you're painting, you know, kind of just the make sure everything's perfect at this point. Um, so I was really happy with it. Whenever I bring you guys down for the close up, you'll be able to see the lacing and the cells that I'm talking about. Um, I had finally went and got new paints through Deco Art. Um, and the way that the Deco Art reacts is just beautiful i absolutely love it so then i decided to grab the dragonfly and put it on there um i couldn't figure out why it was not looking right um but i realized that it just needed to be flipped over and have paint on it but um which i will do in a minute i guess i got a little ahead of myself um but i want to thank you guys for watching and um, make sure and like and subscribe and comment. I do have a PayPal that you can donate to. Um, also, if you have a YouTube channel and you're an artist and you want me to go check it out, just leave me a comment and I will. I absolutely love going and watching other YouTube artists. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, just let me know. Um, so thank you guys for joining me. Um, have a blessed day and I'll see you guys next time.